Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part two of uh, the flight from Cancun over to Frankfurt. We are currently descending, as you can see, going down to 7,000. Probably going to set that to 5,000 in just a moment, which is our final approach fixed altitude. Passing 15,000 feet and seatbelt signs come on. All right, so um, I actually did not have time to look at my charts at the moment. But I did check out the weather, and we're currently at QNH 1036 because we're going to descend right now to our transition altitude. I went ahead and set my transponder to 1036, which is what our weather says. Runway's 25 right. We're using the uh, ILS X um, 425 right, and the Holis 1 Lima departure with a little bit of correction arrival with a little bit of a um, edit. We can check our weather, um, and nothing as much has changed. 200 knots, correction 200 degrees at 3 knots, broken 1-3, so 1,300, scattered 500. Okay, temperature 2, 2.1, vintage 1036. Okay, so actually I did take a little look at my charts, I don't know why I said I didn't. Um, so our most approach correction, our uh, decision height is going to be our minimum decision altitude is going to be 530 feet um, barometric because it is a category one, um, an ILS category one, and so we're using barometric. And um, I don't know what else to say. I think that is pretty much it all covered. Okay, so I, um, oh, we have drag required. Uh, that is a good point. We will add some drag. Yes, you're good. Okay. Actually, I can go over some things. Uh, we set our CDU. We set some ranges, uh, some arcs, so, so we have a good idea when we should uh, start to extend our flaps and when we should be established. Um, we've set up our MCDU um, approach reference, a ref page. Check your ADA set it, our altimeter, our uh, decision height has been set, our minimum decision altitude, and our auto brake is going to be level 3. It is a rather short runway, and uh, because we are still quite heavy, uh, we do need to um, uh, have some extra braking. Um, and we did the descent checklist. Because we set our altimeters to uh, Q and H1036 to our local barometric pressure for the Frankfurt, we can go ahead and do the approach checklist. So let's go and do that right now. Altimeters are 1036 checked. And boy, does it want drag. Okay. Let's give it drag. And nav aids. Let's go and set those now as well. So landing lights can come on because we are at 10,000 feet. We'll set this to a landing system. And our ILS frequency is 10975. 10975 with a course of 248. Perfect. Okay, drag required. So nav aids are set. Project is, is completed. And uh, let's actually decrease our speed again by a couple of knots. Alright, we don't need speed rig anymore. We did need it for a while. Okay. NTI is, is required. We are below 10 degrees, and visual moisture is uh, visible. There is visible moisture, so we can turn on our engine anti ice as well. Okay. Our frames are a little bit low. Um, this usually happens after a long haul, even an X plane. But X plane is so much more optimized and prepared for FSX. And FSX, I'd probably only get like 15 frames right now, where this is probably around 20 to 25. Um, so, yeah, that's a nice big difference. All right, two two zero.
All right, and we'll stay at two to zero for now. Going to be rather quiet from this point on. We can actually turn this down. Only for this, I still have some of the lighting on from uh, the night in Cancun. We can see downtown Frankfurt. And let's blank this out. We expect to be at approximately 5,000 here at Delta Fox and 390 and a 220 as well, and we've reached 220. So, according to our three, uh, green arc, we should make uh, 5,000 at that uh, at that uh, waypoint. Okay, turning base. going to update our heading to our ILS course 248 even though it will do it itself when it captures the localizer and we're going to wait on the localizer capture because we want to stay on LNAV until it uh, is in the curve so I'm a little bit concerned about our weather because our minimum is, is 530 and um, and uh, we are predicting uh, some clouds at 500 feet so I am a bit concerned we may need to convert to a category 2 or 3 which is going to be no problem we're just going to arm all autopilots and I believe um, Frankfurt is fully equipped with category 3 approaches so we should be good there Okay, I'm going to go ahead and arm the localizer now. Okay. It's at speed of 210. Localizer slope is alive. We'll go and arm approach mode. And we'll arm all autopilots. FMC message check altitude target. Set it to 5000. Why does it want that? Okay, so our missed approach altitude is 5,000, so we can keep this in. And we'll set flaps 1. And flaps five.
you can come down. Arm the speed brakes. Three green. Last fifteen. One thirty seven plus five, one forty two. Last twenty. That's twenty five. And fast thirty. Land three is checked, okay. We're clear to land and landing checklist. Cabin is secured, sweep rig armed, landing gear down, and flaps are set. The airfield is in sight, our runway is in sight, so we can disengage. That's what we'll do. Oh, okay, that was uh, random. Approaching minimums. Minimums continue. Manual braking. We'll get out right here. Okay, ignore the little um, double taxiway bug that's being fixed. Okay.
believe anti is on for the time being. And, um, yeah, that was a pretty solid uh, landing. It wasn't the softest, but it wasn't the hardest either. It was probably around 200 and something feet per minute. Uh, we can check actually right now. Okay, 183 feet per minute, that's not bad. It's nice for landing. Perfect of, for such a short runway. So, well, it's not that short, but uh, for Frankfurt, it's quite short. Okay. Okay, so we are going quite fast, but we'll slow down just before the turn.
Alright, so, lights coming off, lights are all off, hydraulics coming off, fuel pumps are coming off, and therefore you are released. Seatbelt signs are off. Turn off the beacon light and turn off the anti collision correction, anti ice. Uh, turn off the anti ice. We're also going to go ahead and turn off our emergency ice lights, disarm them. And I believe that is it for now. We just uh, parked a little bit too far to the front so the auto gate won't function. But uh, otherwise, no problems. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if I do get this uploaded in time, I wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a better year. Thanks again, and we'll see you in another video.